Hi there and thank you for clicking on play to watch this very quick video. Um, over on my blog I've given the dimensions for this particular box um, which I used an A4 sheet and I cut the first panel um, along the, the length of it at 6 inches and this is the panel that's left over. Um, the method for making each of the boxes is actually the same, it's just that the dimensions are slightly different. So I've already cut and scored and made the bigger box, so this is the slightly smaller version of the same box. So on this one, along the long edge we're scoring at 2, 4, 6 and 8 and that's the same for the larger one as well. On the shorter length, for this one we're scoring at 2, 4 and let me just double check that, 5 inches. On the larger one that measures six inches, we score at five and a quarter, just so that we've got a big enough bit at the top, but um, this panel here will be shorter on this one. Turn it back around and score at three, just down to this top score line, and do the same at seven there. And that's us done with the scoring tool. However, I want to put in some diagonal score lines from the three inch mark down into that corner at the next score line and the same at that side there, which gives you a diagonal there, which will just help the box close easy, easy, more easily, easier, whichever. <laughs> So we've done both of those there. You want to fold and burnish all your score lines. However, with this top one, you actually want to fold it back on itself like that because that will help make the closure at the top of the box there. And now for the cutting, you just want to cut straight up each of these panels. because you've essentially got a two inch square there. We want to take this little skinny section out completely just with a little chop in there and we'll put a little wedge in there just to give us a neater top on that as well. Ordinarily I would have decorated the box before I assemble it but I really just want to make sure that this video is covering the assembly part of it. So I've used fast fuse and because it's slightly wider than the skinny little panel we've got there um, it kind of overhangs a little bit but you can just bring that back and that's why I use my silicon mat otherwise it would probably be all over my desk. So we just want to fold that over so that you've got a nice neat edge there and you can do the same that bit there as well. So that's the back with our little panel there. So we fold in the two sides, fold in the bottom there, and then with a little bit of fast fuse on that bit, we fold in that front panel there. Now, if we pinch that and push down, you've got your closure like that. 
if we didn't have those diagonal lines, that wouldn't work half as neatly. So that's just quickly showing you how to put it all together. Um, as I say, the dimensions are all over on my blog. Um, so if you want to visit there, it's www.stampwithnelly.wordpress.com. Thank you very much for watching.